introduce to you the one and only David McRae, who is our state treasurer. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How, How are, you? are you? Good morning. I'm doing good. What about yes. yourself? I'm doing fine. It's good to have you. Finally, we were just joking <laughs> about uh, having to, uh, this first time you've been in. You, this is the virgin appearance. Well, you know, it's better late than never. Uh, yeah. You know, oh, yeah. I, That's I, it. I got three kids, and uh, <laughs> normally I'm, driving, I'm down 55 uh, a little before now listening oh, to your show. and. Well, let me ask you this, though. How's it been as far as uh, I know you campaigned for the office once and then um, mm -hmm. you have been successful on this one. Is it what you thought it was going to be? It is. It's, a, it's pretty much exactly what I thought it would be. It is a, it's extremely enjoyable. Yeah. I, I love the challenge. I love any kind of challenge, but this has a, been a great challenge. The people I was able to meet during the campaign, yeah. uh, the people I've met post campaign, you know, COVID's kind of stop that a little bit but um we're gonna start getting out and seeing people more and but i've really enjoyed it it's uh it's, and i got a great staff which makes it uh far more enjoyable that is uh, number one isn't it it, it is it the really most is. i mean if you don't have that staff to, to kind of help you and get you through things and are you know infighting which we have none of that and it, it's just a great office let's see you've been in office for how many months now how many how long a year and some change a year, year and change have you achieved what you wanted to as far as getting it with the staff and everything else, uh, with the, the things that need to be done? With, with the staff, we got a good staff right off the bat mm -hmm. and uh, and did that during the transition. So we have a good staff there. And since then, I've been, I think I've been able to, in my mind, uh, I've been able to achieve a lot of what I've, I promised on the campaign trail, mm -hmm. uh, whether that's with unclaimed property, which was a big emphasis on the campaign trail. Uh, last year, we gave $20 million back to the people of Mississippi. Um, when I mean give, that that's their money. So we we yeah. got we got them back their money. Uh, we're emphasizing uh, college savings. I was just downtown this weekend at the college say I'm sorry at the uh, state basketball tournament. So we had a college savings shoot out there, and uh, we've uh, been was able that five hundred dollars scholarship? That's five hundred dollars scholarship. We yeah. gave uh, away about six thousand dollars to. Uh, to these kids who shot free throws. How who, about that? Yeah. I mean, and so that's just helping them prepare some for college. Some stars there somewhere? <sighs> there were some that uh, <clears throat> there were some that were really good, and there were uh, uh, some maybe maybe shouldn't have signed up. <laughs> uh, I don't know, but it, at at what level of unaffordable will college be for kids in the future? So you you've you well, spent some time on this one because. Folks have got to start thinking about this. You know, I, it, isn't it a little bit like uh, the the plan? A little bit like a go fund my kid for to college. It's essentially. I mean, to use a modern term. Yeah. I mean, one of the funds you can just prepay your child as soon as they're born, and so that is a great way to start saving for college. You know, you don't have to worry about mm -hmm. it anymore. No matter if let's just make up numbers. If the college costs a dollar today, and then tomorrow it costs ten dollars, well, your child's going to go to college for that one dollar. Uh, you know. But college is obviously going to go up. Uh, colleges yeah. have to improve their campuses. They, ha uh, they have to pay their teachers more. They have to do things to attract students to their college. So uh, to your point, college tuition, that's the million-dollar question. I, I believe college tuition is going to go up. However, on the flip side of that, less kids are going overseas, obviously, for mm -hmm. international travel, for, for, for college. Therefore, colleges will have to say, well, do we want to keep paying for these programs or certain programs because kids can't do things? I guess it's really all going to be dependent upon how they handle yeah. the virus. How do you answer this one? Again, David McRae, the state treasurer, is in. How do you handle this one where somebody says, no, look, I've, Uncle Joe's in Washington, and Uncle Joe's promising everything's free, so why should I save for it? Because well, it'll be free. Well, Uncle Joe's not opening uh, high school, <laughs> I mean, co regular colleges, so I'm not quite sure how much I depend on that. Yeah. <laughs> Um, they they are college tuition now is the number one thing that's weighing down this country as far as young kids are trying to get started buy a house. Well, it is uh, the average child graduates college, and I, when I mean child, young adult. Yeah, the average young adult graduates college with roughly thirty thousand dollars worth well, of debt, and that that's a lot of money to be burdened with at the young age of you know early twenties. And when most people decide to get married, people have kids, uh, decides where they want to live. And we want them to stay here in Mississippi. And if you are saddled with $30,000 worth of debt, mm -hmm. that's really going to impact where you take a job. And, you know, it's a larger problem. It's a larger thing to think about, I think, in the it whole is. scheme of things. It is. And preparing that child for that, would, would, it's going to have the greatest impact on them, other than their morality or anything else, financially. 
If you don't handle it now, one way or the other, if 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 you're dead set on them going to college, uh, and and by the way, there are some clawbacks on this, and let's talk about that because some of the que- I have some of the questions that people are asking about this, and I think that they're probably David more centered on this now than they have been in a long time, seeing where we are in this crisis of of college loan debt on so many people, so. It's called the MAX program, M-A-C-S, M-A-S-C, yeah, M-A-C-S, M-A-C-S, MAX. Right. Standing for the Mississippi Affordable College Scholarship. Scholarship. How much money does it take to open it up, just first 20, of all? Just $25. $25. Bucks. 25 bucks. And it's yours until the kid uh, graduates. Until the kid graduates college. Now, <clears throat> the great thing about the MAX program is that you can actually use it for private high, school, uh, high schools. So that's so you could you could use it for private or public? No, private high school. Private, yeah. I mean, it wouldn't need it for public. You wouldn't need it for public. I mean, you think about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, you can use it for a uh, private high school. So if your kid goes to any private high school in the state of Mississippi, they can use it for that tuition, which is something I think which, we which need to be is advocate. about the same. Will be more. That's more than community college. Depends on. What, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. So that is so true. But you can. So you better start early. So, so you, you can, can start actually early. use it. And, and you can put as much as or as little as you want into it. Mm-hmm. And then let's say you want to go ahead and use it for college. It, it, ex- it can be used for so many things, food, tuition, room and boarding. I mean, you're really setting your child up for success by getting into a program, whether it's the prepaid one or this uh, max program, which is like a savings account. Is but, there an amount of money that you can put in? Is there a maximum you can put in there? Uh, on our website, we have the number. It fluctuates and changes based on what the federal government wants to do. Ah. So. It, and it can be for as many kids as you want to. As, yeah, you just open up as many as you want. If you have 10 kids, you can open up 10 different ones. Right. So, it, but you can do it, could be books, tuition, supplies, anything, dorms, food, food, everything, r- room, board. I mean, it can be used for anything. And that's the max program. Right, the big question is if I've accumulated, let's say, thirty, forty thousand dollars in there so over the years, and the grandparents have put something, the uncles, all the birthdays, they put money into this, mm-hmm. and, and it's there and it's rather healthy, and the kid decides he doesn't want to go or she doesn't want to go to college, you can take it out. You can take it out with some penalty, according to it. And um, what what is that penalty? You'd have to talk to a tax person about that. Um, okay, so it varies. It varies. I'm not a tax specialist, so I don't even want to get into. Is that. it on your website? It's on the website. It's on the course. website, and uh, everything's on the website. We have a really greatly new design. 